Friends and family of a bicyclist killed after being struck by a vehicle coming together this evening, trying to create awareness about what they say is a dangerous intersection. WGN's Brona Tumulty joining us now from DuSable Lakeshore Drive at Balboa with that story. Brona? Good evening, guys. In the median of DeSalva Lakeshore Drive, right behind me, there are some flowers and what's known as a ghost bike, which is a memorial to a cyclist who has lost their life. And that's exactly what happened here a couple of months ago to a man who moved here in 2019 from Venezuela, who found the woman of his dreams in Chicago and was someone who loved to walk and bike around this city. Loretta was the best person I've ever known, and so this has been really hard because this was a preventable accident. Jamie Balagoni fighting back tears this evening, talking about the man she was supposed to marry later this year. Gerardo was the kindest, most generous person that I've ever known, and um, his passing has really impacted so many people, and we, we just really miss him so much. 41-year-old Gerardo Marciales was riding across to Saba Lakeshore Drive at Balbo back on February 28th after biking along the lakefront when he was struck by a 26-year-old man driving north. The police called me to tell me. And the news quickly rippling through the family. Gerardo Fiance um, just sent me a text saying, I need to talk to you now. And at that moment, I knew something was wrong. Dubraska Diaz Campos, Gerardo's sister, alerting their loved ones in England. I was in bed and was woken up by my sister. She called me at one in the morning for me and told me that something happened to our brother. Two days after the accident, Gerardo was declared brain dead. I'm very sorry that you have to be here. Christina Whitehouse with Bike Lane Uprising helping put together a vigil tonight for the loss of yet another cyclist in our city. I can't keep up with this. We've been buying materials for ghost bikes in bulk. Placing a ghost bike at the intersection where Gerardo was struck. Ghost bikes are roadside memorials. They're a way to pay tribute to someone who lost their life. The hope being something can be done to make this crossing safer for those who use it. We hope that people are listening and that the city will consider making some safety changes to this, not only this intersection, but many other intersections. So that no other families have to suffer. You are with me in my memories and in my broken heart. I love you. Now we reached out to police tonight. They say the driver involved in this was charged, was cited, excuse me, with disobeying the lane markings. We also tried to get some data about crashes in the city. And according to the city's online portal, just this week since Sunday around the city, there have been at least 11 crashes involving a bicycle and at least 20 involving a pedestrian. We also did learn in the last hour or so that police told organisers here tonight that if the, the ghost bike is left in the median overnight, they will remove it. It is there still at the moment, but it Means to be seen whether it will be taken away tomorrow. We're live on the lakefront, Bruno Tumulty, WGN News.